Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Room 104, Season 1, Episode 9. This episode is caught. Boris. We have had the children of 104. The free couple getting money. The court Johnson whack-a-mole. whack -a Facing the past. Friendship. Finding out who the heck you are. Family. Interpretive dance. Attraction. A plane crash survivor. <laughs> debating if she should face what's her if she should face reality and go home or just start all over and here we are the commenter of the the series goes to Laureen Laureen Connor has been really diving into this thing like no other homegirl scheduled her break around this show that's how serious it is so super shout out goes to Laureen holding it down in the comment section Shout out to Silver K and Seventeen Age. Let's do it. Now y'all know I'm a big Queen of the South fan. Huge Queen of the South fan. And you can't possibly be a fan of Queen of the South if you're not a fan of Camilla Vargas. Played by the legend, Veronica Falcone. I mean, she's killing the game. Hands down. Slaying. Was slaying every Thursday. Thursday nights have not been the same. I'm just saying. Even when the homegirl was locked up, I was still saying free Camilla. When she got out and she did us dirty, I still said, dang, I'm still a fan. So to know that she graced us this episode, you already know I was excited. So come on now. Okay, so we have Boris K. Boris K is this magnificent tennis player athlete, right? If he was 6 and 91, that means he was born in 85. As of 2017, he would be 31 years old. Let's take it back to him being 17. 2002, I is the future of tennis. He walks into room 104, throws a couple bags of ice down, throws down the duffel bag. Uh, what rolls out of the duffel bag? A big nasty bottle of vodka. When Boris had his meltdown, that was it for me because look an injury can totally do that and i had a i had a bad injury to my knee so look i tore my acl and my mcl and i broke my tibia all in the same movement so when i saw him have to shoot up that cortisone and i knew he wasn't shooting up heroin or anything crazy and I said, oh, man, that's the moment that you would just go buck wild and wreck everything because I've been there. And let me tell you, when I saw his scar, that was about it for me. So Boris is rocking this track suit. He's got old nasty wiggle when he's doing what he's doing. And he's drinking and smoking his cigarette. And this is straight out the bottle, man. This is He doesn't have any orange juice to go along with it falls onto the carpet in between both beds, the same place that the voyeur fell when she had her miscarriage moment, the same place where the missionaries fell when they had their, let's take it there moment, right? Where Joseph laid, he's right there. Come to reality moment. Mm. And here we are looking at this, what they describe as charismatic, polite, wounded player unwrapping his career and at the same time he's unwrapping his knee brace moves on to the bathroom mm. we remember where ralphie did we had the toilet paper going every which way i'll be out in a minute hold on you know all that craziness up in there he's taking his ice bath because that's what you have to do for recovery he's smoking his square sipping his hard liquor this fool actually peed out the tub. He straight up went. You remember that little, I don't remember the name of the brand, but anyway, they had the little boy cartoon. It was on t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats. It was on the back of uh, pickup trucks and the little boy would pee and it would say Ford, Chevrolet, Nike. Everybody had the little boy peeing. Y'all remember what I'm talking about? Drop a comment below. It was a big thing and I was, I think I had to be like in sixth grade at that moment and I still remember it. But why, Boris? Why would you put on clothing that somebody else left? You just gonna put on the Santa suit? Do you have any idea what kind of freak nasty holiday ho hoeing up in there somebody could have been doing? I don't know. He's in front of the sink, looking in, towards the mirror. All we see is that monkey. Mm. Since we talking about monkey, 
Boris is Boris Bo Boris kind of cute. Hey Boris, Boris kind of my type. Anyway, he's watching himself get injured on the tablet, and I'm like, e who is Kimmy? What happened to her? And did he really motorboat a pillow? Get a knock at the door. Why Oklahoma? We get a knock at the door. Enters the maid, the housekeeper, Rose. Do you know what my problem was? I'm saying to myself the whole time, no, Boris, don't go to the door. Don't open the door, Boris. You don't have any underwear on. You're gonna scare somebody. Looking like Pooh Bear. He's got his monkey out. Rose is just doing her job. She's tired of the complaints. She just wanna get home to her son. Please, sir, calm it down. You know what? I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it room 104 and not go to my dang on Queen of the South, but the fan in me, the fan in me knows that Camilla would never rock a sweater. Camilla wouldn't rock a sweater. Y'all know dang on well she ain't rocking no sweater. Is it Gucci? She's not rocking a sweater. It's hard. It's hard. All right, all right. I'm, I'm focused. Somehow Rose felt in her spirit that she should go in the room. Found some sort of trust deep down inside and trust this man with the Santa, with the Santa coat, monkey exposed, and a tennis racket. She must not know what happens in that room. Oh, I was so scared for her. I was, I was watching this episode like this. They were bonding and a part of me just wanted them to run off together. They get little Jesus and raise him up to be a tennis player and he gets all the Wimbledons and they're just happy and she doesn't have to check rooms anymore you know they live off in France somewhere and it's just they're just happy she, Rose says she doesn't drink but she sure is clutching that $300 cash money for the 99 2000 I felt like one drink and Rose was gonna be Kimmy she was gonna be on that bed with that dang on Oklahoma visor on. So, okay. I really thought when he was yelling, saying boss, boss, and all that, that he was talking to his coach. When they had that chair to chair facing each other conversation and she's talking about how if she could have one thing, you know, she would want security. Mmm, that, that was powerful. Boris jumps on the bed at that moment. And when, when Boris jumped on the bed, it was a cry for help. And I'm saying to myself, we know how much of a role alcohol obviously has played in this guy's life because he's got many shooters on the nightstand. The, and he also has that larger bottle of liquor. When he said, I can't win, ooh, that's when the meltdown became official. Rose, you have to love Rose in this episode because she kept her composure. When he was drunk on that bathroom floor and they showed that toilet with the nasty vomit, ugh, sitting there, we know he's suffering from some serious PTSD because he witnessed a massacre and his uncle was there to save him. No one has ever spoke to him like Rose. She sent two words that people don't say too often. I'm sorry. We end up finding out Edgar is the owner of the Santa jacket. And he was the person who was in room 104 the night prior. He, and it's not for sale. It's not for sale. It's bigger than money. It's about what he does with it. It's about giving. This episode, I, could, I can't say anything besides I feel this episode was about giving, you know. Rose gave her time. He shed it. He, he shedded some layers. He shared his heart with her. And she, he also shared $300. Uh, she left the cash on the nightstand. He gave the bag off his shoulder to, which I'm sure is an extremely expensive tennis racket to give to her son it's the holiday season it was i liked it. it it was sweet it was a very sweet episode can't complain no more dreaming for boris he doesn't have to look at that oklahoma visor of kimmy he threw it i feel like maybe she, rose gave him some sort of delicate completion and i liked it. it was it was a nice like i said a sweet episode you know how we do it I'm going to give this episode a 9.0. I really liked it. Y'all drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Until the next time, I'll see you. Peace.